What's crackalackin' everybody? Welcome back to what is another Listenly video. So guys, there we've actually got an absolutely baller item that literally just arrived in the mail today and I'm so flipping pumped up. Um, this is like, it's a small item, but it's actually a big giant deal for me because I think it's just so epic. It is the one, the only, Elite Trainer Deck Shield. Now you might be thinking, Andrew, what kind of name is Elite Trainer Deck Shield? I'm thinking the exact same thing, but uh, pretty much, this is a tin, and what the tin is, it's like Xerneas on one side, Flip it around, we got a Veltal, and in the background, when we get the shrink wrap off, it's got some really sick patterns in the background. And what this is used for is like you put your uh, cards in there, or you put your deck in there. So you're an elite trainer, right? You put your elite deck in there, and you go pwn noobs at other people's houses, or you go to like tournaments, and you know, you show everybody how skilled you are at the good old Pokemon TCG. But uh, I'm so excited. This, this is such like a revolutionary new product. Pokemon hardly ever think of new things to put in the TCG, and the fact we got this now for Furious Fist, I'm so stoked, and hopefully they continue it with like other sets. So down the bottom here, we've got our usual warning 6 plus protect your favorite deck in style you know hashtag swag oh uh, we've got pokemon tcg elite trainer deck shield what do we got down the bottom here we've got includes two pokemon tcg boost packs and a storage compartment in the lid oh so really so that you store stuff up here that makes so much more sense um but yeah it's gonna be really interesting to see what this thing is like all the bits and bobs it's like a 007 secret agent spy device or something i don't know it's got like all these hidden compartments <laughs> On the side, we've got the Gotta Catch Em All and uh, Pokemon International Company. And I love the embossed uh, energies on the side here, like Unlisted Leaf Energy, Fire, Water, you know, all the good ones. I think Fairy must be like somewhere hiding underneath the uh, brochure there. Let's crack into this one. I am so pumped up to see what's inside. I think we get two Furious Fist boost backs, but if it's anything different, I can't complain. Mr. Stanley, where have you got? There you are. Oh my gosh, we lost you for a second. Where were you? I was at my local hot dog eating competition. Where else, man? You're doing what? Your hot dog? No, dude, you got to like concentrate. We're opening new Pokemon products right now. All right, so the lid looks like it comes off like sort of sideways. I'll show you guys in a sec. Get this one off. We'll peel the... Oh my gosh, guys, it's the barcode. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. We nearly missed that one. That was close. Let's rip this. I think we're just going to have to peel it. There we go. Oh, super, super glue. There we go. Oh my gosh, how much extra shine does this bad boy have? Let's look around the, uh, like, pattern thing. Look at this, there's, like, flames and I don't know what this is, tribal marks in the background. A Veltal was, like, pretty embossed. You can feel the gold lettering on him. That's a really awesome idea. Flip it round, we've got a Xerneas, and he's got, like, all these different swells and tribal patterns as well. This is really cool. Which one is your favorite side, guys? Do you like the Veltal or do you like the Xerneas? For me, Xerneas has got like a pretty awesome pattern in the background, but a Veltal's got like a really nice embossed sort of figure. So probably a Veltal, I'm not 100% sure. And then look, there we go, all the flipping energies, all raised out of the tin. So I uh, like their little lumps on the tin. That's really awesome. And we got Pokemon trading card game on the top. And we'll slide this one open. What's going to be inside? La 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 la. It looks like it's like um really small. It's probably a place to like store your gum. Apparently you meant to store all your dice and stuff. So you put all your dice in there. That's pretty cool. So uh, you know, it's not storing your gum place. It's a place to put your dice. And I think we literally got to grab this out of here if we can. Muscles. Oh, there we go. So we pull that one out. Put that to the uh, side there. Put this one on top. And then we get, oh no, so it's uh, an X and Y and Fury. Oh, what the heck? It's Flash Fire. Really? That's so weird. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll put this one to the side there. Um, this is pretty random, so we get a Flash Fire and X and Y pack. No complaints there, because you know what, we still need a top up uh, of both of these, and I think we're like slowly getting Furious Fist complete, so it's not too big a deal. Let's crack into Flash Fire first, hopefully we can pull a full art Charizard or something, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go straight in for it guys, let's do it! And um, and yeah, there we go, there's a code for y'all. Make sure if you do grab one, leave a comment in the comment section below what you do get. This is so awesome, and I wonder what the pull ratio is gonna be like. Maybe, hopefully it'll be pretty good, although these are pretty cheap, they're like only $15, so I'm, I don't have too much hope. Maybe EX if you're lucky, but I can't really see them giving you a full art in one of these tins. We got a Bruzil, a Fletchlin, a Ponyetta, Reverse Metapod, that's what I'm talking about with Harden there, and our final one is a Snorlax Regular Rare, not too bad, Snorlax is my man, that's pretty cool. Hands on his stomach like he does not care, then we've got this heaps baller Xerneas, Oh, we'll flip it around for Xerneas. There we go. Let's go. All right, who is it pumped up? And I'm pretty like they don't have the uh, colors in his antlers there. That's pretty, oh well. I guess it's sort of going with the blue theme on the back. Pokemon X and Y. What are we still wanting to get? I don't know. A full art of Veltal and Xerneas is always fun. So I guess we'll go for the Xerneas thing as we're doing the Xerneas party right now. Oh my gosh, how many times can we say that? Way too many. Let's do this one. We've got a uh, Corsola there. Energy or special energy there. Rainbow energy. Shadow circle. Then a Doduo looking pretty cool. A Bunnelby. Pumpkaboo. Glowing. What is he glowing there? He's like, mm, must find my lost keys. 
lost them in the dirt, you know, buried them, can't find them again. We're like, come on, Pumpkaboo. We get a bit of their, a rev oh my gosh, reverse Eveltal. That's pretty good, considering we opened the Eveltal tin. And then, a Hollow Delphox. So that's not too bad, and that seems to be the way of these tins. I'm guessing that'd probably give you a Hollow because, uh, yeah, you're not paying too much, but you're still getting a pretty good pull. So that's not too bad. We did pull a Hollow Delphox on this uh, tin opening. I really like this. This is such a cool idea. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you got yourself one? And definitely, even if you don't, like, want to transport stuff, like, this is a cool little case by itself. Like, oh my gosh, let's try and do this one again. Look at that! You got this own little, like, carry thing. That's awesome. And then we've got this little tin here. So I'll probably store, like, cards in here. I probably won't store a deck in here, but random cards? Why the heck not? Make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this new, like, little TCG item? It is so rare that we get new stuff in the TCG, and I'm so happy that they finally released something new. And yeah, I think that just about wraps it up. It's a pretty small, like, sort of opening. Only two boost packs, but hey, I'm so pumped up. But most of all, what do you do, Nesson, guys? What do you do? You told me, I'll you. Make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.